or Penny, could you please give us an... <laughs> I see in your file one little tale that I think is relevant. You said that you quite like to gamble. When you were a young girl, your mother gave you some money and asked you to buy some rice. On the way to the <laughs> shop, Tess saw some people playing Find the Marble for money. She gambled all of her mother's money. <laughs> I mean, that shows strength, doesn't it? Well, she lost. <laughs> well, I was only eight years old. And have you done that sort of thing? Since? Anything like that? Yeah, I, got, I still gamble, gamble a lot. <laughs> Sorry to keep you, just having a gambling story. Yeah, she's got the soul of a gambler, you're right. Right, he's still taking you very seriously, even though you are one of the most charming and attractive players that we've ever had. Despite the loss, now of the two biggest numbers, the offer is £10,000. It's a big amount of money considering I've lost a quarter of a million. But I still got 75, 50, 35 and 20,000. And 75, it's in my box. I'm ready for the question, Lord. 10,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Help me find the 1P, please. I can't imagine what the noise will be when you find that 1P. Could it be a number six? It could. It could be a number 12, 10, 21, 17, 16. <laughs> Charlie, please, can you open the box number Charlie, six? we're going with you, and we want to hear the biggest shriek we've ever had <laughs> in the Dream Factory. Good luck. Thank you. Oh! The last thing you said was the 75,000 was in your box. It's not. It's there. 50,000. Yep. <laughs> 50,000. <laughs> Number nine, come on, we want that scream, Rita. Blue, Good luck. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite the scream we wanted. It was a good scream. <laughs> Ten feet. Could I have number 14, please? Come on, Steve, give us the scream. <laughs> 3,000, it's fine. It's, it's fine. My word, we rattled through those. Hello again. Mm, yes, I'm sure you let out a little scream, did you, when the 75,000 went? <laughs> it's a bit unnecessary. I can hear bells. He's finding it hard because you've taken out the big numbers. However, you've been very optimistic. You keep changing the number, but you have a belief. Yes. <laughs> and therefore, he knows there is a real danger. You will go on. So, £10,000 again. <laughs> Somebody immediately said, Good offer. Good offer. <laughs> A gambler's offer, isn't it? It's a gambler's offer. Yes, no. 10,000 pounds, you can see it sitting there. It could be here. So, he's now teasing you, Tess. He really wants to know how much of a gambler you really are. I would love to tease him as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way you say it. It's just... <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, oh. He's just amusing himself there. <laughs> no, I didn't mean... <laughs> I didn't mean that. There's a, there's a body of young gentlemen here who are, who are corrupting this show. <clears throat> anyway, back to this situation. John, you've been very quiet. Read this one for us. £10,000. It feels like a real gambler's offer. I really wouldn't like to influence my darling because she never takes my advice. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is correct. Mr. Banker, it's a lovely offer. I'm having fun with you, Mr. Banker. I'm ready for the question now. £10,000. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Can you do an all scream round? I hope so, no. Okay, that's what you need now. We need to get to eight box without touching the three big numbers remaining. Could I have number two, please? Okay, Miles, we want to scream. Thank you. Good, Good luck, Tess. <laughs> no! No, no, no. Unbelievable. We started the game, the very first round, you took out the 100,000. I still got 35 in there. The last, <laughs> last round. First box, 75,000. Now first box, 50,000. Now we believe 35,000 is sitting there. And we want to find that 1P, the Super Scream. But I have 16, please. 16, Vicky, we think you've got Super Scream. Show us 1P. Blue. 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 Thousand. You do like those reds. The reds are now down to those key three. 20, oh. please. 20? Alan, this is really, really important. I so much want to hear the big shrieky scream as you open a blue in box 20. We mustn't touch 35 or 20,000. Come back after the break. We need a blue. a silly waste of energy because you were in the right place when we started after the break and then you wandered over there. You'll tire yourselves out watching this show. Still happy with this? Yes, no. OK, Alan, we really do want it to be a blue. Thank you. Good luck, Tess. Thank you. Yeah! Thinking about you a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you were as well. Okay. Ooh, that's not nice talk. He's thinking a lot about the penny. He is very confident that you are going to join the 1P club. Which he has to balance with the fact you are giving the impression you will go on all the way. Yes. Which is why this is a very, very respectable offer. Seven and a half thousand. It's half your opening offer. It's greeted with almost total silence. Very rare. Still a good offer, but I still got 35,000 in my box. I might want to chase that box. And the banker has to offer me more. I'm ready for the question now. Tess, seven and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> and now we really do need the all blue scream around. Seven and a half thousand pounds can be improved on. 
Could I have number five, please? David, we're with you. Teresa, we want a blue from you, please. Blue. 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 Roses are red, violets are blue. Hope my ponytail is lucky for you. Thank you, Barry. <laughs> no! Oh! It's as bad as the rhyme. <laughs> 35,000's gone. I still got 20,000 in You are fantastic. I, I love the way you scale your optimism. It's fantastic. No, it really is good. It's a, it's a great attitude. You are a sparkler, aren't you? Are you having a good time? Oh, yes, Noel. I came here as a nobody. And after oh. the show... Oh, you're not a nobody. After the show, I will be recognised everywhere, wherever I go. <laughs> You'll be remembered as the lady who turned the game around and won twenty thousand pounds. Thank you, no. <laughs> yeah. Or the lady that joined the One P Club. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you, you. I can't think of another player who's been here, who has had so many setbacks and all the time radiates so much positivity and so much happiness. with me sparkling performance but then came the health warning uh, in the days when you were playing the machines in the pub if you had a bad day you could always go back to the machine the next day you can't return tomorrow and try and make up for the fact that he firmly believes you're going away with just one p six thousand pounds Love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the question, no. You never got a chance to say this. <laughs> Tess. Six thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? I am a gambler. So I think it's time for me to deal. I like that. And it does seem to be, at this moment, a very wise decision, given that every single round, when we've wanted things to get better, you've lost the trump card. We've lost one of the big numbers. And yes. if you find the 20,000 and the 10,000, Tess the Gambler will have done something very clever. £6,000 is safe. Now we play on as you would have done had you not said deal. I would have gone on number 10, please. I do hope it's a red, Tess. Thank you. 750, it would have been a great start. 17, please. Seven